Hi guys! He doesn't like the unicorn, so nice, bright, colorful. Uh, you can see what we are going to do today. Uh, very easy and quick salon designs every Monday. So if you're new here, subscribe. My name is Dorota Palitska, international new artist and educator, and I upload the videos every Monday. Also, in addition, lots of tutorials on the new structure, new health and safety. Uh, so lots of interesting and uh, very informative uh, tutorials for you. Let's start. So we are going to do those cute unicorns and I have done like a two uh, glittery and sparkly bits and pieces on the sides uh, uh, just so we've got something matching but I will start showing you with the horn uh, which is pretty easy I'm just applying the gel polish it's a white one on the entire nail Then cure it for a 30 seconds and then we're going to rub in some nice pigments into that. So I can cure this one. In the meantime, because we will paint some unicorn face on this one, I can prepare my paints. And the ones I'm going to use is the acrylic paint, the water-based, and that's the new perfect black one. So a tiny bit on the side. And amazing stuff, which I love, which is a black concentrate. Watch it because it's pretty watery. But that's what keeps my black really nice and highly pigmented, but also I can paint on extremely thin lines with it. So my tip is cure, and I can go and use a tiny bit of the Mermind powder. You could also use some chrome powder as well. I will use a Mermind one, so put a tiny bit uh, on the lid if you've got the long nails, uh, and then just rub it in. So nicely rub it in and remove the excess. Then apply the top coat. So it looks really nice and sparkly. Then cure it. So once this one is curing, I can prepare my paint on French because uh, that's a gel which you don't necessarily need to apply the top coat on it. And I feel it uh, it's behaves fantastic when it comes to those kind of 3D, uh, 3D looks. So I've got my brush in here. And all what we have to do is just paint some 3D lines. At the top I'm leaving a tiny bit of uh, space because I want to put a, uh, a more crystals in there. The more time you spend on it, the nicer it is going to look. I'm going to kind of hurry up a little bit so my lines are not going to be the straightest ones. So the quickest way to do it is just paint the thin line and then just go over it to thicken it up a little bit. So 
Yeah, I could spend a couple more seconds on it just to make it prettier. Okay, not that I'm happy with it, but I don't want to take much more time with this part. I'm going to cure it now. So you can see they're twisting a little bit, but obviously the more time you spend with it, the prettier it is going to be. Because of the thickness of it, I need to cure it 60 seconds, and then we're going to wrap in more pigment into that, and then secure some uh, crystals just so it is going to look nice and pretty. And on this one, we need to paint exactly the same horn, but this is going to be a unicorn horn. So I'm just grabbing my paint on French gel and painting on unicorn horn. Going to give it a pretty decent size. So exactly the same thing what we have done on the fill tip. I hope you can see it, the sweet triangle because it's white on top of white, but when we wrap the pigment is going to stand out a bit more. So I can cure this one. And then the horn itself is ready, so I'm just taking the pigment and rubbing it on. Remove the excess of it, and that's the horn ready. And basically, uh, because this is the gel which can be used for a sugar effect, the, the pigment is going to stay into it, uh, so I don't have to worry about applying the top coat or anything like that. I can put the horn on the side and do exactly the same in here. Because we have buffed the surface of the needle, the pigment is going to only stick into the horn. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. So we can see it more now. And exactly the same like we did on the large tip. Just paint those horn. Of course, here you need to do a much smaller lines. Okay, and then cure it. I wouldn't go as long as 60 seconds because they are not as thick as the lines in here. Uh, but 30 might be not enough, so I would adjust my curing time to about 40 seconds. And this is pretty important. Okay, we've got the manufacturer's instructions, but they are on a certain thickness of the product. So I'm kind of trying adjusting the curing products depending on the thickness uh, I'm working with as well. Now on this needle, I want to put a tiny bit of sparkles, so I will just add a tiny bit of the sparkle in here. Mm, what do I want? Okay, I will want one pink large one. Now again, this is not something I would secure with the nail glue, but for the tips is enough. And they are only a display tips. Uh, I would suggest a clear gel in this case, or a tiny bit of the clear acrylic, uh, which behaves uh, really good. And then as usual, a smaller crystals around it flatten out and smooth it out the surface of the raised crystals. Okay, 
Okay, so just a tiny bit of the sparkle in the corner. And the unicorn one is cured, so I'm going to wrap that pigment in there as well. And you can see basically what we have got. We have got exactly the same horn, just in a smaller version. Now the unicorn needs some ears and needs some eyes as well and it needs lots of flowers maybe a tiny bit something on the cheeks so for the cheek i'm going to use the ice cream 146 color from upvoted collection oh my goodness it's so beautiful put a tiny bit on the side and i need to mix it with my top coat okay so let me put this on the side and this on the side so I'm mixing a top coat and I'm mixing those pastely pink like I'm measuring where I'm going to have eyes so eyes are going to be somewhere here then the cheeks are going to be there now guys, I hope you can see it. It's a very pastel pink. I don't want to go too strong because it's a tiny bit of the blush on the cheek only. And by mixing it with the top coat, you are not going to go too big, uh, too strong with the color. It is going to look much nicer. Okay, so the cheeks are done. And the most important part is the eyes. So I'm going to give a quick flash cure to my cheeks. And then we're going into the black. I have prepped my mixture here. So that's the black concentrate, a tiny bit of the water, and my acrylic paint. Now I need to do it a really nice mixture and roll my brush to go in extremely thin lines. So, uh, during those painting, I'm going to hold my breath because I want those eyes to look beautiful with no mistakes. So, this is the starting point. And now start at the same place and do it one more. I want those lashes to be really nice and thin. Do exactly the same on the other side. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, maybe I don't want to overdo it, but I will give him a one more eyelash. Yes, that's as cute. And one more on the other side. Perfect. So you can see with the eyes it starts looking cute. Now it also needs the ears as well. So I'm going to use the same pink I have mixed it before for the ears. Sorry, when painting the other side, because I'm right-handed, I kind of need to twist the tip uh, upside down. And I do it quite often on the clients as well, when doing the other side. OK, 
Here you can take a tiny bit of the white and just go around it. So this way the ears looks more interesting. Okay, so a oh, tiny bit more on this side. Now I can cure it. What else we need is some headbands and for the headbands I have pre-made some acrylic flowers. You can see it on the video as well on my YouTube channel. So just search 3D roses and that's the one which we're going to use. So tiny and beautiful. It has like a wee pearl inside. Uh, actually, maybe this rose is going to be too big. I'm not going to use it. I will use a smaller ones. Yeah, definitely smaller one. Or maybe. Let me check. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah, this is going to make the horn to don't stand out as much as it should so I'm not going to use it unfortunately but yeah I will use the smaller ones with some crystals around it And tiny bit more glue. So I've got just a couple crystals and a very, very tiny rose in the middle. And then once the glue is dry, I can top coat it to secure my design and also to uh, make sure the gems are not going to fall off as well. Okay, and once I'm happy with it, I can cure it going to be a 30 seconds cure also I have created something like this in here um, so basically this crystal looks a little bit like a horn and I thought it will be pretty nice if we could add a tiny bit of the ears and the eyes into it as well just so you've got a different type but this time I'm going to create the lashes which are different way I need to turn this on so uh, I'm not going to cover what I'm painting. And now lots of lashes. So you can see that uh, the black paint concentrate is amazing. Because it can get you really nice and fine lines.
No, I just cleaned my brush because I've got something on it. Yeah, that's much better. The first one I use a bit must shape. Okay, so those eyelashes are closed eye. And I need to draw one more. Okay. Now this unicorn is also missing the ears, so I'm going to use the same pink like I did it before, right on the top and here. Need a tiny bit of the white. And what else does it miss? It missed a little bit blush on its cheeks. So I have mixed the top coat with the pink. And I'm just giving his cheek a little bit blush. And we've got another cute unicorn. So it is going to be a full family. I actually quite enjoy those kind of cute designs. Because uh, I think the clients would love them as well. Something very sweet. And I hope you have liked uh, watching this video. If you did, uh, give me a like and subscribe. Because there is lots of interesting tutorials on this channel. Especially every Monday coming up a new episode. For you plus in addition uh, another uh, extra videos going up uh, through the week thanks for watching guys bye